All right, guys, so here we have a uh, 6L80 Tecum, and I'm here uh, finishing up a uh, uh, Transgo shift kit on the, on this 6L80, and they all take uh, take the same kit, and it's a 6L8 uh, CS-TCC, that's one, and then this one, uh, SK6L80. And on this box here, the diaphragms come, or the little uh, uh, membranes, or whatever you want to call those things, uh, they come in the kit. Now, I always do this. I always install them, and then I, you can, the, the, the shift kit tells you to uh, pressure check them, but I actually vacuum test them. And uh, this is good because I just finished installing these uh, uh, membranes or diaphragms on this Tecum, and I got one leaking. Now, let me go ahead and uh, uh, calibrate my uh, test stand. I mean, I've already calibrated it because I've been using it. But in front of you guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on my vacuum pump. It's going to make a little bit of noise, so I'm going to have to speak up a little bit. All right, so now we have our vacuum pump uh, turned on. Now I'm going to insert it on the calibration port. And I need 5 on the right and 25 on the left. So when I uh, plug my calibration uh, port on the right side, Right here with this calibration, uh, I should go to 25, so my stand is, is good. Now, I could use uh, one of these, you know, to do that, but I actually like to use this one here. And uh, I just put my hose on it, and let's go ahead and from, from right to left, let's go ahead and uh, uh, test them and see what they look like. So this one right here gives us good uh, good vacuum. Uh, like, uh, like if I just put my finger in here, I got 25 inches of mercury. And if I test, uh, this uh, membrane here or this pressure switch, it gives me a perfect vacuum. Let's move on to this one. And we got to make sure that it's, uh, centered correctly. And we have perfect vacuum on this one. Let's move on to the next. You got to be centered on this thing. Okay, so we got a perfect vacuum. Now let's move on to the other one. There's all there, there's always on these little baggies. Uh, there's always one extra on these little baggies. Uh, they, they they come in the shift kit, and I got so many of these because I, I do them on all of them, and I got some extra membranes here. Uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, it, it, it comes it comes a five per bag and you always have one extra and they say for you to for practice but actually it's actually for this thing you know let's, let's go ahead and check the, the last one look at the vacuum it's not holding the vacuum and if i look in here it's sucking up like fluid from the back and i have perfect i mean if I, if I check the next one up, next, the one next door, I got perfect vacuum on that one. Now, let's go ahead and use the test plate, this right here, just so you guys know. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, plug the hole, and we got perfect vacuum. Let's go ahead and put it on top, so you guys can probably try to see. But as you can see, we have no, we have a big, large leak, and the fluid moves in there. This one has perfect vacuum. That one has perfect vacuum. And that one has a perfectly good seal. So we got three that have perfectly good seals. Let's go ahead and repair this right quick. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and take this seal off. And what happens is that this moves to the sides and it's not when when you install when you inject the the seal where's my little in, installer tool i think i left it on the other bench because i do everything on the other bench hold that thought right quick and i don't see it i don't see the installation tool all i see is a brand new baggie over there and <laughs> there was over there because i got so many left over here that that's what i use that thing has to be in here somewhere. Okay, so here is the here it is right here. This little thing that looks like a boot. 
you get your uh, members in there and and then you kind of like position them and we have a ribbon here on the side so that's probably what's going on it's not going underneath this here let's go ahead and replace that one i don't like this one so an extra one comes on the kit and to get it out you kind of kind of have to destroy it because it's a brand new one all right so that one's gone i'm going to get one of the extra ones and install it like an upside down taco and then you get this uh one side is lifted get it nice and flat and I always push it you know towards the rivet just to make sure that it's uh it's on top of the switch because once you install the seal as a matter of fact this is a uh ship lever seal installation tool let's go ahead and uh put the seal in it so we put the seal inside the tool and then just make sure it's nice and straight you don't have to be nice and straight i mean it'll, it'll kind of uh, straighten it up once you lift up or try to inject it if you can see it already straightened it up and let's go ahead and inject this thing in here just like an injector or like like a vaccine or whatever you know like a syringe you know not vaccine i didn't mean to say that but i don't want to traumatize you more than you already are all right let's go ahead and uh, turn our vacuum pump back on and let's go ahead and uh retest that all right let's go see let's go ahead and see and we got it fixed we got it fixed perfect seal perfect seal perfect seal and perfect perfect seal all right so as you can see uh i mean you install these things and you cannot see underneath you you don't know where that membrane is uh uh let me see if i got another one over here i'm just gonna I'm gonna get another extra one. I don't want to open another package unless I need it. I'm gonna lay this over here on top, and you can see how big this thing is. So you can see the size of the of the membrane, and you have to be underneath the small port, uh, and it has to be underneath the seal. So once you install it, it'll look like kind of like this. I'll put it on my finger kind of like this on the inside or on the bottom side and then on the top side that where you're looking at it it looks like that i don't know if it's going to focus or not but it'll kind of look like that if you're looking at it so you gotta you gotta be behind the seal you're gonna be underneath the seal has to be on top of it for for it to uh to seal the way it should seal so there we go, guys. I mean, that's just a short video on uh, on uh, pressure switches on the Tecums, you know, and uh, when you install them, you have to make sure that you can use a, uh, it's kind of hard to use a, a blow gun, an uh, air gun. Uh, and the reason that, that it is, I mean, it, they tell you to put a washer on top of it, uh, like a little washer, and I don't have a washer. Well, let's see. Hold that thought right quick. I'm getting some stuff. I'm getting a blowgun. Well, let's say this is a washer. You put a washer on top of it. You got you know, you need a smaller washer than this. And then you use one of these tips on top of it. Or one of these ones. You know, whatever you want to use. And then you, you uh, inject a little bit of air. You know, low pressure air. And then you, I guess you look for bubbles. But sometimes it's not because of the noise of the air and stuff like that. Right here you have a gauge. And as you saw that we were under, in between, we were maybe 12 or 13. And the first time I checked it, you know, that's why I, I, I grabbed my phone out and uh, started filming. It was actually right here on the 15 and the needle was fluctuating. It was going like this. 
you know, because he was uh, kind of bringing a lot of air from behind it with a little bit of uh, residual fluid that was down there, and it was bringing it to the surface. And then I guess with the same vacuum, he kind of like tried to create a seal, but it actually stabilized the, the leak, and he went down to like 12. So there we have it, Tecum, uh, Tecum checkup. Uh, I don't know how to name this video, but I mean, vacuum testing, uh, uh, yeah, vacuum testing Tecum pressure switches, I guess. And uh, I got, uh, I think I got a badass or an awesome video coming up on, on, on this one, the 6L80 Toon Pro. I got it installed in one of the units and uh, we're gonna do a, a we, we did a performance build, I already installed that kit. Uh, he's driving it right now. The next video that I'm gonna do with him is going to, going to be the tuning on that one. All right, well, I mean, here we go. Uh, pressure switch uh, vacuum testing on uh, 6L80, 6L90, or any of the 6 series or 6T series that have pressure switches that you have to replace them and uh, just vacuum testing. All right. See y'all guys on the next one.